Hi everybody and welcome to another Scratch tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about the motion data blocks. These are the three motion data blocks X position, Y position, and direction. Let's take the X position, the Y position, and direction, and drag them out. Currently, we know that the cat is located at 0, 0, because I just created this project, and by default, the cat is located at 0, 0. One way that you can tell the X position and Y position of the cat is if you click on the I, it will tell you right over here, X, 0, Y, 0. You'll notice that if I drag the cat, the cat's X position and Y position changes. Make sure not to confuse this X position and this Y position with this X position and this Y position, because these X position and Y positions over here, which are called coordinates, these coordinates are of the mouse, because you'll notice if I move the mouse around, those coordinates change, but the ones by the cat don't. But if I move the cat, the cat's coordinates change, but the mouse coordinates also change because I'm using my mouse to move the cat. If that sounds a little bit confusing, don't worry. I'll just show you right now. Say we have a little program that says when the green flag clicked forever, move 10 steps if on edge bounce. When I click the green flag, you'll notice that the cat's X position is changing, and that's because I use the move 10 steps block and the cat is facing forward. You'll notice that the cat's X position is changing, but my mouse's X position isn't changing because the only thing that's changing is the cat. Now, if I tried something like, instead of move 10 steps, I could say, change Y position by 10. You'll notice that when I click the green flag, the cat's Y position changes, but then it gets stuck on the top of the screen. The useful things about these blocks is that they can tell you what the cat's X position and Y position is. So let's drag the cat to a place on the screen. If I click the block, you'll notice it says 126, and that's because the cat's X position is 126. What do you think it will say for the Y position? I'll give you a hint. It tells you the Y position right here. When I click on the block, you'll notice that it says 100, and that's good because it matches with what the cat says over here. Finally, direction. When I click direction, it says 90 because the direction the cat is facing is 90. Well, how could we use these in practice? Well, let's write a program to make it so the cat will move to a certain part of the screen and then will stop. So let's start by saying when the green flag is clicked, go to 0, 0. Let's try it, and you'll notice the cat goes into the middle of the screen. Now, let's take repeat until, and then we'll take out an equals, and then let's go back to motion. Let's say repeat until x position equals 90. Change x position by 10. Let's look at this program. First, the cat will go to 0, 0, the middle of the screen. Then, this repeat until block will keep on running the code inside of it until the cat's x position is equal to 90. So, the cat will change its x position by 10 until it gets to 90. Let's see what happens. You'll notice that the cat moves and then it stops. And take a look. The cat's x position is 90, just as we programmed. Now let's add another repeat until. Repeat until. Y position equals negative 50. And we're going to change the Y position by negative 5. In this case, the Y position will not change as quickly because I'm changing it by negative 5 as opposed to 10 for X. Let's add one third one, just to show that we understand what's happening. Repeat until 
direction equals 180. Turn 5 degrees. So first, the cat is going to change its x position by 10 until it gets to 90. After that, the cat will change its y position by minus 5 until it gets to minus 50. And finally, the cat will repeat until its direction equals 180 degrees and it will turn 5 degrees. Let's not forget to set our degrees to 90 in the beginning because we've reset our coordinates, our x and y position, so it's only fair if we reset the direction that the cat is facing in the beginning too. Let's see what happens. The cat moves. It went a little bit quickly, but so I'll add a weight. So you'll notice first the cat goes into the middle, then the cat moves until its x position is 90, then it moves down, and then it rotates, just as our program told us to do. Thanks for watching.